Hello and welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our NiniTrader 8 library. Short video, about 10 minutes here today, with the explanation of the indicator concept, the most important functions, and how it can be used in a trading setup, along with a download link to the indicator itself. This time around, we're looking at the FAST Stochastic, which was uh, designed to measure trend strength and possible trend reversals. George Lane, who developed the concept, described it as follows. If you visualize a rocket going up in the air before it can turn down, it must slow down. Momentum always changes direction before price. So the idea here is uh, to spot situations where there is a momentum fall off and possibly a looming trend reversal. As with the standard stochastics uh, oscillator, which was also developed by Lane, the fast stochastics compares the closing price with the range in the look back period. That is defined by values from zero to 100 and will that indicate the trend strength and possible reversals? So if values move below the 20 threshold, which we see here and here, the market is uh, trading near the bottom of its uh, high-low range. And this can be interpreted as oversold and opposite values above the 80 show that the market is trading near the top of its high-low range. So that would be overbought. And these thresholds can, of course, be adjusted to fit the characteristics of the market that you trade. But more importantly, the uh, fast stochastics is made up of two lines, the K line and the D line. The K line is the main one drawn as a solid line here and calculated uh, using C for current price, L for the period low, and H for the period high. The second uh, line, the D line, is then a moving average of the K line, drawn as a dotted line here. And by looking at how the two lines behave in the oversold and overbought areas, setups are then identified. Lane's approach was to look for divergences between price and uh, the overbought and oversold thresholds. So uh, in a oversold situations, he would uh, check to see if the K line had fallen below the D line and look for a divergence in the movement of the K line and the latest price action low. So we see new lows being set here and the K line is rising. So that would be a divergence here and indicating a long setup. As for exits, uh, he would consider that at the uh, cross above the uh, 80 threshold. And again, the idea is to spot situations when there is a loss of momentum for the entry scenario. And um, I'd personally be careful using divergence as a uh, condition for entry. A, a triple divergence is a failed double divergence, as I sometimes say. And they're also quite resource intensive to uh, implement in a trading uh, system approach. So I'd rather go with the price action patterns to confirm these types of setups. And I'll uh, get back to that shortly here. Um, in an overbought scenario, you would uh, check if the uh, K line has crossed below the D line and then look for a divergence in the movement of the K, uh, K line and the price action high. So we see higher prices here and we have a falling K line. And for Lane, this would indicate a short setup and a exit scenario uh, would be considered here at the cross below the 20 threshold. 
The racing stripes here are from uh, Bloodhound, a visual programming tool uh, you can uh, consider to test and uh, verify trading ideas and strategy concepts. We'll do a follow-up on uh, how to call these uh, oversold and overbought areas along with uh, some price action patterns in a presentation hosted by Shark Indicators next week. So uh, make sure to look uh, for an email on that in the coming days. Sign up for that. Um, of course, uh, both the standard stochastic and the fast stochastic oscillators are available with the default NinjaTrader installation. Uh, but uh, these two indicators and a few others cannot be used with uh, other input series uh, than price. Uh, that basically means that the uh, NinjaTrader versions cannot be applied to another indicator. You can't build custom nested indicators. Um, yeah, but why would you want to nest an indicator within another indicator in the first place? You're probably asking. Uh, well, that is can be useful for a number of reasons. For example, uh, you could correct distortions in a fixed scale fast stochastics, overbought, oversold reading. So as we see in the charts here, adjustments to the oversold threshold would have to be made here to identify long setups during a strong uptrend like this. But instead, if you use the roofing filter as an input series for the fast stochastic distortions in the fixed scale, overbought and oversold readings uh, can be corrected. And uh, you would then be able to rely on the 20, 80 levels again without manually adjusting according to the current trend scenario. The roofing filter can uh, also be used with a number of other normalized library indicators. And uh, just to give you some background on the roofing filter itself, it was presented by John Ehlers uh, with this Mesa stochastic indicator to eliminate uh, so-called short and long wave components. Uh, so it only considers um, wave components uh, with periods between 10 and 48 bars. And uh, by doing so, you can reduce uh, oscillator lag and uh, more accurately assess turning points. As you see here, you could use momentum price action entries for, for these align these patterns here with the fast stochastics turning points. All right, so with that, uh, we'll wrap up uh, this indicator spotlight, highlighting where you can find uh, this month's free download. The Fast Stochastics is found in the nested uh, indicators category, along with uh, other NinjaTrader indicators that cannot be used uh, with an input series other than price. So we have the double smooth stochastics from Blau and Bressert here, for example, the Parabolic SAR, the fast stochastics is here. The roofing filter that I mentioned uh, is found in the advanced oscillators category. So as a member, you have access to a total of 145 plus indicators for a one-time payment of 150 bucks. It's not per indicator, it's 150 for all of them. And it's a one-time flat fee, not a monthly fee. All right, guys, appreciate you taking the time and tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up or leave me a comment below here. Some feedback is always good to let me know that you're out there. Thanks again. Have a great rest of the week and looking forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care and bye-bye now.